everyone. Welcome to Four Peace in a Pod, a podcast about friendship, quarter life crisis, and discovering life after music school. Every week, we talk about topics relating to music, adulting, and our own personal experiences. I'm your host, Izzy. I'm with Andre. Hi. I'm with Conch. Hello. And of course, Yanni. Hi. Today, we'll be talking about expectations versus reality when we entered music school. Where they met, is being a music student as glamorous or terrifying as it is in the movies? Were the halls and corridors really filled with beautiful classical music? Or were we majorly culture shocked? You'll find out on today's episode. But before we get into the topic, I want to know, Kamusta tayo lahat? How's our week going? How is everybody? A very loaded question. I had a wonderful experience with a student. She's nine, and then suddenly she said, Teacher, do you know My Chemical Romance? Oh, and then you know what amazing. happened? She started playing Black Parade and she sang. <laughs> Culture. Amazing. I didn't even have to teach. She just knew it by heart. So, yeah, that, that's what happened. Kayo, guys. How's Thank life? Thank you, I had the opposite experience. <laughs> wow. I know. Alam ko yung experience ni Andre. <laughs> Two moms canceled on me this week. Oh. Oh. Bakit daw? <laughs> like, I'm broke for the week. Oh no. Like very last last minute cancellation. Dalawang araw na magkasunod. Sabi ko nga nag-usap pa din dalawang nanay na. Whoa. They don't know each other? No, one is in the Philippines, one is in the oh. States. <laughs> what was the reason for canceling? Well, uh, like the kids don't feel it now. I'm not sure. That was Grabe naman, wanted. may ganun ba? Wow. Yeah, so parang okay, sige. Well, you know how my week was. We were having like an existential crisis at 4 a.m. I think that was that last night or two nights ago. But yeah, we had a break now one week, right? So I was really productive during the weekend. So para ngayon, I think Tuesday and Wednesday, yun yun looking weekend ko. I dedicated my two days. You know, ako ng movies. Like, yung mga Disney Channel original movies. Like, yun, Princess Diaries nice. 1 and 2. <laughs> and Nostalgia. Cadet Kelly. Alam niyo, raise your voice. Yeah. Yeah, but I've never and watched it. I should, but I'm don't. never gonna forget High School Musical. The one. Yeah. One. Tapos, nice. you know, doing those <laughs> movies, it made me, like, realize a lot of things. Na, Fiko, alam ko na kung saan nanggagaling yung mga friends natin na persistently nagtatanong na ganito ba sa music, nagjo-jam lang kayo kapag free time, or ganito ba sa music, intense yung atmosphere pag merong mga nagko-compete against one another, or yung nagtatampuhan ba kayo if you're, co- if you're competing against your friend, nag-uusap pa ba kayo, mga ganyan. And I think gets ko na kung saan nanggagaling because gets, we, our generation grew up with these kinds of movies and anime, like, alam niyo ba yung Lakorda, something, Doro, Primo, Paso, yun, nanonood lang din ako ng mga snippets nun. And that's, when I realized na, oo nga naman, nung high school ako and grade school, dito ko rin napulot yung first pictures ko of how it might feel like if I were a music student back then. So, I think, I mean, ko pagpasok ko second year high school, meron pa rin akong impression na kapag music, ayun nga, ang taas-taas ang tingin sa'yo and people will really expect you to dedicate 100% of your time improving your craft. So, meron akong assumption na special treatment yung mus- musicians wala kayong GE classes, wala kayong PE, but boy, was I wrong. Pagdating ko ng college, ayan nga, hindi nga tayo conservatory of music. We were, we're a college of music, so I had to take English classes, had to take PE, and the likes of those. Siguro yung pinakamalalang first impression ko is, ayun, kapag music, akala mo 24-7 yung practice rooms. Or oh, yes. Meron kayong... Yes. Yeah, or meron kayong allotted practice room for yourself, or at least meron kayong allotted schedule per week. Pero pagpasok ko ng College of Music, doon ko na-realize na, one, mahal ang kuryente. <laughs> Number two, it's not really wise to compromise student safety. Imagine mo, alas tres ng umaga, pag 24-7 yung practice rooms, may, may pupunta pa ng college just to practice. So it might be a nice thing, especially, I don't know, for piano majors, kung paano kayo nag adapt lalo yung mga nasa dorm, walang piano. Not sure yeah, how that works. I don't know how they did it. Nga eh. Parang I did have ma department who did stay and go to to the college super early or stay super late. 
Tapos yung iba naman super lucky na meron sila sa sa, sa dorm? dorm nila. Yeah. Ay, like Andre. Alam ko yung dorm ni Andre before may piano dun eh. Oh, yeah. Yes, sa akasya. Yes. Akasya represent. Oh, we, have a, we have a piano. Pero para imagine mo, isa lang yun. Tapos, tapos kung ilan kayo, paano yun? Lalo pag finals. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. So, yun. Pero curious ako, ano yung pinakamalalang tinanong sa inyo when it comes to how your life in music was? Kasi sa akin, naalala ko, yung brother ko, <laughs> nagulat siya when we were arranging for choral class, choral arrangement. Okay. Tapos nagulat siyang tonal na yung ginagawa ko and he was commenting like, oh, bakit totoong music na? So I was like, so yung contemporary music <laughs> That's na, so funny. Music, hindi totoong pala, music. <laughs> <laughs> hindi pala totoong music. So I guess, isa din yun sa mga expectation and realities that most composition students have to understand upon entering the college is yun, hindi tayo songwriting. <laughs> We're more focused on contemporary and atonal music, as some would say. Yeah, I agree. Yun, actually, yun nga yung one of, I mean, I wouldn't say one of the biggest shocks for me, but I think I expected more sana na different genres per se. I knew, I knew upon entering the college that I was really gonna write a lot of contemporary music kasi I did uh, extension program with a, f- a former or a graduate of the composition program na nun. so I knew naman na yun talaga yung susukulat ko pero I think what I really expected sana was more of classes na different genres I think yun yung nasayangan din ako other than expectation versus reality but it was really focused on contemporary quote-unquote, avant-garde music na a bit nakakaumay, to be honest. To be honest. I feel like yeah. I know somebody who entered the college didn't expect that that would happen. I mean, I he finished. so many people. <laughs> but, yeah. He was expecting something else. Mm-hmm. Theory example lang, when you would ask yung mga incoming students what department they're trying to get into, Madame, may na experience, may na encounter ako na ano eh. He wanted to learn the bass. So akala ko naman like double bass. Apparently bass guitar. So parang hindi ko alam kung paano ko sasabihin sa kanya that we don't really offer that course. <laughs> so parang I remember saying doon na lang sa solfege panel niya na Sir, ito po yung expectation niya. Baka pwede pong unti-unting i-break <laughs> na i-break sa kanya na hindi yun yung gusto niya talagang pasukan. <laughs> I also feel like may mga tao na they think na when you're gonna enter the college, that's when you start learning rather than you've been learning for so long and then here you are making your craft something more. But I feel like may mga ganun din na, na ideas possible. I feel like but, that's true for, uh, no, no, for most um, all this, for most performance-based programs. We're very much unlike yung mga science na parang I mean you're not expected to study like MBB ka agad even I mean even before you w- go into MBB like literally yung foundations nila nasa first year nila ganyan ganyan and stuff like that pero tayo that's true parang you need to have at least a very basic knowledge to survive during your first to uh, survive, few yeah. years yeah to survive yeah I mean they talaga. do and when it comes to like theory they do teach pa rin naman the theory basics from like the start at the start of your experience in college. Pero imagine like if you're learning the beginning or the start, um, you have time before to learn it over the years. Siguro when you enter the college, you expect it in like two months or three months. Lang, diba? Can I just add to that uh, theory, theory thing that... Yung, ano tawag dito, yung, uh, the, the theory that we do during the audition is very much different from what we do dun sa actual na first theory natin. Like, um, it's, it's, it's so, it's like elementary. And then compared to what we, we do pagpasok natin. I guess that's one expectation that um, kind of threw me off. Na parang relatively the audition was uh, easier na I thought that it's gonna be the same pagpasok natin but no I guess it's de- it depends din pala on who your teacher is I guess that's true, that's true. it depends materials. on the teacher yeah yeah but I agree with yung difficulty level I mean I don't know I think 
one thing rin kasi is I came from homeschool, which didn't really have formal music classes. So, although nag classes naman ako outside, pero I think yung difficult level, difficulty level, tama si Andre dun na it was really, parang the auditions was here, like, super baba. Tapos biglang, yung, <laughs> yung, yes. yung classes was like, in another level na, Oh my gosh. I think the pace affected the classes also. Because eh. for me, it was kind of different. It kind of took Theory 1 as a, a refresher more. Because it, it was what I was growing up with. Except for, let's say, the ending na parang, let's talk about cadences. Let's talk about modes. I'm like, okay, that's something new. But at the start, parang medyo okay pa, kaya pa. But yun nga, tama naman. Ang laki rin ng jump. Yeah. Kasi yung, I think I agree with Conch, yung sa theory part nga. Tama yung sa first, yung MUT 10 natin. Parang refresher lang din. Pero biglang, naging intense on the next, on the next parang class. Parang walang transition. <laughs> exactly. Especially yeah, Parang all along. Akala mo nag-refresher ka lang. Tapos biglang, parang may ganun ka kayo. May yeah. one for five, one na bigla. <laughs> exactly. Especially, I think for, I think this is also a good, ano, for compo majors who are entering the college nga na, yung mga uh, advanced theory, I felt so, to be honest, I felt so lost dun sa mga advanced classes not like advanced harmony or yung mga advanced, basta mga advanced theory classes. Parang ako, I feel like I was just coasting along and hoping na yung mga homework ko dun or assignments ko dun tama. And I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Nahirapan ako sa advanced harmony. Like, nag-gets ko naman yung tinuturo, pero hindi ko siya ma-apply ng ganun kadali for some reason. Hindi, parang, nag-shot down yung brain ko kasi parang, never ko na-encounter or parang hindi ko siya iniisip when I'm in the process of composing. Tapos, magugulat na lang ako na you have to apply it in one of your homework na parang, wait, naglalagi yung brain ko. Ganun. I <laughs> Na I thought, ako lang yung nahihirapan. It's nice to hear from Izzy yung nahihirapan din siya. No, I was really crazy kasi... Other, just to give context for everyone, that class, Advanced Harmony, is for composition majors. Tapos, you're basically all composition majors in that class. So, y- you feel the- this pressure na you should really be doing well. Kasi, you're all composers. Tapos, yung prof, yung prof pa dun was like, very mataas yung expectations niya. To a point nga, naalala ko, sabi niya, um, something in the lines of, uh, there was this week na super na-disappoint siya sa amin. Naalala ko yung class yun. Super disappoint siya sa amin. Tapos sabi niya, tapos nag-walk out siya. Tapos sabi niya, um, bakit, bakit ang mabobo niyo? <laughs> tapos, I don't in, remember this. Girl! Intense, girl! Intense. Yun yung sabi niya. Ito like, bakit ang mabobo? Oh, grabe. Hindi. This was in the time we were talking about Stravinsky's mass. Yeah, oo, oh, yun. Really. Yeah! So, <laughs> that happened. And then the next week, when we finally got it, he said, for some reason, na, actually, uh, these lessons, or itong mga tinuturo ko sa inyo, pang masters na actually. So, I remember <laughs> him asking me, naalala ko, ano yung forms and analysis? Diba, yung final exams? Parang, hindi pala final. Yung midterm exams, parang yung take home, and then, interview type. Yeah. And I remember him giving me follow-up questions. Tapos, hindi ko na masagot. Actually, may idea naman ako. Pero, syempre, hindi ako confident dun sa answers ko. So, I opted not to try. Kasi baka masabihin ang yabang-yabang mo pa. Hindi mo naman alam pinagsasabi mo. So, syempre, I didn't want to take the risk. So, I just remained, remained silent. Tapos, yung nasa-sense na niyang medyo iffy ako. Sabi niya, yeah, no need to answer. Pang masters talaga yung tinatanong ko sa'yo. Parang, okay. <laughs> I cannot meet your expectations. I'm so sorry. So, I guess in a way, no, parang, um, for those na, like, for those incoming, I feel like what they, what they can expect is that it's very different from basic ed. And by basic ed, I mean elementary and high school. Na spiral. Spiral siya. I mean, hindi ka ma, you're not gonna get lost kasi may continuity talaga yung, yung parang difficulty. As in, alam mo na every year na, nagpo-progress siya and hindi siya like biglaan. So when you go into college, like at least in our experiences, expect na it really is one jump <laughs> to another and then factor in pa yung trip ng prof. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I feel ko, ang laki nun. Yeah, ang laki yung fact. So parang, 
Ay, so yun, based on their experience nga, like, parang bigla na lang, suddenly di mo alam na master's level na pala yung pinapagawa sa'yo. So, I guess, but but I had a different, uh, what do you call this, experience with music ed. Feeling ko dahil teaching track kami, they try to do their best to um, make it similar sa, sa basic ed. Oh, that's yes, nice. I, I yeah. guess, I guess so, I guess so. They really did try their best. Although one thing that I did not expect before going into the College of Music is that I didn't know na hindi pala kami pipili lang ng isang tuturuan na level. Apparently, dadaanan pala namin lahat. Parang ako naisip ko na since magmi-music ed, parang hindi ba dapat lahat, daanan lahat? Or yung ibang, ibang college, let's say, College of Edu, ano ba sila? Certain oh, no, sa, level lang. Sa edu kasi, you really just have to choose if you're early childhood ed, oh, which yeah, is preschool, tama. elementary lang, or high school. Oh, nga, no? Ako naman, I mean, I did, I did think about that, na parang we would have to go through it methods-wise. Pero yung practicum talaga, ayun yung hindi ko inasahan. Oh, na, yeah. You would literally go to three different schools and teach three years, you know, three different uh, semesters. So, yun, prepare, prepare yung mga balak mag-music ed na hindi lang tayo pipili ng isang uh, track. Kasi, ah, alam ko, because in sa voice and sa conducting yata, yung, yung, mga, yung may mga practicum na programs, alam ko sila, pinapapili lang sila ng isa. Either high school or elementary. Oh. So, may mga programs kami nakasama sila. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're a music ed, you're literally din. gonna go, so, oh, it's not a... For music, walang flexibility. So, sa compo din, we were saying kanina that it was the same thing. Wala masyadong flexibility when it comes to writing different for different genres. So, I'm curious dun sa mga performance-based majors like Piano, for instance, if you had the chance to, like, choose your pieces, oh. the genre of your pieces, or talagang basta within the classical spectrum siya. For sure, parang it's still within the classical spectrum. Parang, uh, paano ba? Because I grew up with the with the idea of how how I would perform. Like, kasi sa so Suzuki, parang we finish a whole book and we have a recital of the whole book. So, kind of that idea of recitals was embedded in me. And my whole life, I was studying just those kinds of pieces, classical pieces. Like, if it's not from Suzuki, my teacher's gonna get something else that's still within the classical category. So, when you went, when I went to college, same thing happened, I guess. Parang, tumanda lang ako, tapos, nag, nahumirap lang yung pieces. Um, for those siguro who were expecting na, do you play jazz in the class? We don't have jazz in class. Um, yeah, more, most of it, all of it is within, let's say, Baroque, Romantic, Filipino, 20th, and then you have your concerto, sonata, and etudes. Parang ganun yung how it's built, the classes, uh, I mean, for majors. When it comes to naman the subjects, there, ayun, those are the main subjects for piano. But there is a class sa college na jazz. So you can take it for uh, an, an elective, but that's about it. It's more of an elective. It's not your main class. Pag-i, ano yata, no, Conch? Ibang department yata yun. Oh, it's, I mean, that jazz class naman is everyone, everyone's like, um, kasama na. Sorry, yeah, I'm except, using... Yeah. Except ano ko dun sa jazz class, eh. Uh, uh, for those who are fine. listening, I'm using a lot of hand gestures. <laughs> but they don't really... These are the matagos. Yeah, you can okay. watch in our YouTube channel. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, besides that, because you guys were talking about going into the college then, I think, I mean, preparation. One of the things na hindi ko talaga masyado inexpect was how heavy sight reading was gonna be for me. I mean, um, I feel like I'm an exception kasi uh, I really had a hard time sight reading before. Like, I wasn't na, I wasn't like the godly sight readers. I, I, I had an idea of pitch and rhythm. They were always separate entities to me. And then when, it's a piano, di ba parang you have to put them both together. At the, at the same time when you're sight reading. So that was kind of hard. But 
you know, before coming into college, my teacher was just like, ah, okay lang, you don't have to read well now. Like, no high school ako, you'll, you'll get better in college. Pero, that didn't happen to me. Um, yun, I mean, my expectation was I would be better during college life. But it, I, my, in reality, hindi rin ako masyadong not progress there super i think because of the pace of everything you're you have so much pressure to finish what you have to do during that um stay and then i don't work i mean well my psych reading skills didn't really work well when you're under pressure i think do you guys experience it the same way in some other other things na once you have pressure parang mas lumalala <laughs> parang kami ni Izzy baliktad we had we had to admit now parang hindi kami nagpa-practice for uh, yeah. piano concentration. But, because ando na, kapag pumasok ka ng class, kahit 30 minutes lang siya, yung feel na feel mo yung pressure na katabi mo yung prof mo and she knows exactly that you didn't even check your pieces at home. So, parang uh, na ako natutong magbasa. So, I'm not gonna say that I'm the best sight reader, pero at least, I got better. So, oh, not that's really good, good that's at good. it. Pero I got somewhat faster and i think izzy has the same sentiment for this yes i, I, agree. I wish i could say the same i Me, agree parang, i was just breaking down in class because whenever i looked at my piece it they look like grapes they had heads and they had stems grapes i think, kasi, I think for for us ni Yani, it's i think there's also a notion that parang compo major should be good at piano and even should be good at sight reading so I don't know, we also put that pressure on ourselves. Tapos nandun na nga kami sa piano class. Dahil sobrang nakakatamad talaga mag-piano lessons and mag-practice. What happened was we were really forced to sight read. Oh, that's I mean, good. So, you guys in a way, it was a blessing and a bad thing at the same time. <laughs> na we, I, I highly improved in sight reading, I swear. As in, because I didn't practice that much at home and I was you know, forced I could, not to sight read. So I wish I could say the same and, and experience the same thing, but it just didn't work out for me. But I guess some things just don't work out the way you wish it would be. But what really helped me learn how to read better is me teaching now. Because lang, kasi lang Oh, I mean, teaching little kids, I'm able to, to like, himay, how to read. Na ako rin, natuturuan ko. Sarili ko. Weird, the auntie. But, you know, that's kind of away from the topic. But also, another expectation, siguro, that I had when I was in college was, I could finish it within the five years. I think that's one of the things na, a huge... <laughs> <laughs> wow, weird flex, but okay. Masakit, okay. I wish I wish I could, but I couldn't. So yun um normal lang I guess sa college na madelay. Marami sa amin, marami sa atin sa college delay. Kasi nga the idea is when you're in a performance um performance college, you cannot just give like pasang awa type of performance. Because imagine, mo, you're on stage and then you perform half. It doesn't make sense. But half of the piece was good, half was not, or half of the piece na aral mo, half of it, you didn't. It kind of doesn't make sense as a performance. So, to be finishing college with it more than pa, what was allotted ideally, is, is normal. Could I just add to that? Feeling ko most people don't expect how much practice takes time of our lives pag nag-college na tayo. Feeling ko ayun yung pinaka isa sa malaking factor na hindi kinoconsider ng mga tao. Na parang since we're performance-based, na parang alam ko yung iba, most people get overwhelmed, lalo na during their first few years, about how much practice time takes much of their time outside the actual class time. Right? Na parang, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's hard, it's harder for performance majors. I mean, I'm pretty sure you, you guys spend more hours. But like ako, to be able to even parang get one hour, I mean, take one hour of my day just for that. And that's just one instrument, huh? Imagine, imagine for music ed, we also have guitar, recorder, and other stuff that you have to practice, voice. So it's, it's, it's kind of crazy um, to... To think how much practice time takes 
much of our time. So, oh, incoming yeah. students, please expect that. <laughs> I think I think everybody in the college, no matter what your major is, you will expect to like study more than one instrument. Because even us piano majors, um, we took, I well, I took voice also and harpsichord. So that's another. And if you think the harpsichord and the piano are the same, they you just read the same stuff ish, but the everything else, your technique and all, is very different. <laughs> For those who don't know, Conch, I mean, sorry. For those who don't know, Conch, could you explain what a harpsichord is? Oh, a harpsichord is like a keyboard. But instead of striking the... I mean, when you press a piano, a hammer strikes the string. In a harpsichord, when you press a key, it looks like a piano. When you press a key, it plucks a string. How do they sound, teacher Conch? (laughs) Oh, no, I don't know. And that's why I hate harpsichords. (laughs) Because it blocks the string. (laughs) But anyway, I think with with yung practice time, in relation to practice time, uh, I think kaya nila binawasan daw yung GE units, yung general education units, para daw madagdagan yung practice time and creativity time for comp, for example, or conducting. But one of the profs were saying... Well, one of our profs were saying na, kahit gano'n ko dami yung practice time mo, if you really don't want to practice, you're not gonna practice. And that's true, that's true. That's and true. it doesn't matter though. It it should be daw magaling yung teacher mo. Kasi dun mo talaga ma- makukuha yung skill. So, I, I mean, there's a lot of arguments about it. Yeah, I kind of I, I kind of went to class to hear my teacher tell me before na I should stop studying for my GEs and practice. <laughs> Yeah, so practice does play a big role in everything. But yeah. Oh, I guess that's another expectation, no? That they could uh I mean that they could I mean, that they could expect. No, I mean uh a music student is just like any other UP uh student. We go through the same number of G's. Siguro kasi may assume that we don't previously. have to I don't do have it. Previously. We don't have to take GEs because and dami nag assume that we are a conservatory. So meron kasi difference between a conservatory and the college. Oh, I didn't know that. Is that true? As yes, in, that's true. Mas kulang, ay, hindi mas mas kulang, mas mas konti yung um yung gen nila. ed nila. Yeah. Oh, really? So that's mas why it's quite basically. nice because <laughs> you want some of us would want to be studying performance and focus on the performance too. But see, right, here's it, the, I think this is where the argument arises, no? Kung saan yeah, talaga, but I think we can just reserve that for something else. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. No, so I guess for those incoming people, uh, UP is very much holistic with their academic side pa rin, Even if we're performance. Kasi yeah, they you really us. have to be well-rounded. Yeah. yeah, they bombard us with everything. With four PEs, <laughs> with lots of GGs. And foreign I think that's language. The re- yeah, and I think that's the reason why some of the instrument majors struggle talaga. Kasi that's why some of them are very delayed because they really struggle with the general education. And it's fine. I mean, I understand naman kasi some of them really just want to perform and that's not a bad thing. They're really, really good in their instrument and in their skill. Pero that's one of the struggles that I noticed for a lot of instrument majors. Na, I guess they didn't expect the the number of units for general education or even elective. And yun, for the College of Music, actually normal sa amin yung talagang delayed because alongside, ka- kahit nag-aaral ka, we, you have, you belong to a lot of performing groups and yung iba, they're really, really big time to the point na nagtutour sila outside of the country, nag europe tour, they compete overseas. So, minsan nakahati talaga yung oras nila na instead na nakakapag-enroll sila this semester or this summer, mid-year, whatever, parang they have to put that aside kasi they're expected to travel for a tour or to compete. And there's really nothing wrong with that because that's how, minsan, that's how you build connections and dagdag yan sa plus points when you're graduating or delay pa more. <laughs> uh, with regards to what you said earlier, yan, na parang do people just expect us to uh, break out in songs? Whenever we go, since yes. we're the College of Music, like high school musical style. No, no, no. But like we we actually have a version of that. I'm not sure if you guys will agree. When you're from the College of Music, uh, kasi nranasan to personally. Yung you're just randomly there. Tapos bigla kang matatanong ng someone. Oi, are you free to perform? <laughs> Parang okay ka lang ba oh, mag-perform? 
I think that's our version of like breaking out into so we parang random person just asking you to be part of a performance either that very hour or like in a few days parang randomly selecting people from the College of Music to be part of your team. Yeah, I mean, so nakakatakot tumambay eh. Kapag you're on lunch break, nakakatakot tumambay anywhere. Baka mahata kang kumanta for this ko. <laughs> for within this the recital. day? Yeah, minsan nga diba? within the hour nga eh. Yeah, um, that's true nga. You know, that, that just happened to me like last week. <laughs> Because I'm a, a music graduate, there there was a funeral. Tapos they were saying, sino kayong pwedeng kumanta? <laughs> <laughs> ikaw, ikaw ba? Pwede ko. I didn't even like really know the person that well. I mean, the person who passed away. I mean, I knew him. It's just that I wasn't really that close to him. But they asked me like, si, si Belle kaya? Pwede kumanta? And I'm like, no! Because first of all, I'm not a voice major. Second of all, I don't really sing as in sing, sing professionally. And third, I wasn't that close to the person to sing informally in his wake. So, ano mo yun? Mayroon ganun yeah. impression yung mga tao na you can just sing That's randomly. True. Would That's you guys true. say that everyone in the college can sing? I would say yes. I mean, I mean, I would say carry a tune. I carry agree with Andre. Yung carry a tune, stay in tune. Okay, pero yung mga biret, diction. No, no, no. Eh, yun pa, yung mga expectation na kapag voice major, yung mga birit lang daw. Girl, no. They, they literally have to take a lot of foreign languages. They have to fix their diction and everything. Hindi lang siya basta-basta birit. So, Breathing, for the incoming phrasing. voice yeah. majors, mahirap siya. <laughs> Siguro, one last. I will share one last. My one last expectation before was, I, I, well, tama ba? Is it an expectation? More of like, I didn't expect that I would meet people who like the same type of music as me. Kasi parang papasok ko ng college, di ba? And then pagpasok ko ng college, everything that you do is classical-ish. Classical, quote-unquote yun, ha? Kasi medyo mahirap yung term. But yung, yung that type of genre ng music. And then, but I've actually met some people who like the same music as me. So I guess in our college, even if we're doing one thing for now, Um, you'll meet lots of people from everywhere. Could I just add to that? Na parang sure. Actually, mas rare pa nga na makahanap ka ng... I mean, mas common yata sa atin yung may prefer na hindi classical yung pinakitigan. Hindi totoo yun sa, kal- sa department namin na meron so, talaga yung diehard magaling like, dun sa ganun. Sa amin, sobrang pili lang nung gusto talaga yung classical. As much as possible, like, we go pop or indie or folk. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Sa kompo, hilig namin yung fusion. <laughs> so, most of us, meron sa amin, okay, kompo ko, marunong ko mag-contemporary, but then, at the side, I do music production, or yung iba, That's ang dami, nagkukulintang for their composition. Ay, masaya sa Asian Pero, music. Masaya sa Asian yeah, music. Yeah, yung recital nila, it's actually fun. Nakakalimutan yeah. nating i-mention, they're one of the best people. <laughs> <laughs> they're very nice too. And But the yeah. most flexible people out there. Mm-hmm. With that, I guess we can segue this to Ganda Smooth to the song of the week because we're talking about different genres of music. Uh, we have Izzy. Izzy, what song did you choose this week? And can you talk about it a little bit? I chose a very timely song, I think for everyone, but personally in for me. And it's Fine Line by Harry Styles because I've been listening to his albums for... For the past few weeks, tapos um it's from his uh, album named Fine Line Rin, second album niya, and essentially it's a song na very melancholic and it's about finding the fine line between love and hate. For him specifically, it was about I think a relationship, yung love love niya and hate your relationship. But I think it resonates with me right now. Kasi I'm in the position na I feel like I'm in a limbo in terms of yung personal life ko. And not relationship, ah. Walang hugot or anything. I feel I'm in that fine line na I'm, I'm trying to um, balance everything and I have to find that fine line. So that's why it resonates with me. And I'm sorry to end that episode with a very, very um, melancholic mood and thank you for listening 
And does anybody want to do promos or like shout out or greetings? Anybody want to greet someone special in their life? Yeah. Shout out to Spock. Where is he? I don't see him. <laughs> Spock's my beagle, by the way. Oh, my shout out to beagle. my cat. She finally came home from oh. the vet. But oh, we yeah. have to tube feed her. So yeah. everything is tough. But she's stable or wala naman siyang um, she does. She has a lot. She's very, very, uh, <laughs> too much, <laughs> but very, very, I miss her so much. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to our pets who are keeping us sane during this pandemic. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, For Peace and Pod, and follow us on Spotify. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.